I've been doing this 30 years. Uh, I've never seen a source country uh, at any time in our history have such a large uh, overall impact on the availability of heroin in the United States, and for that matter, uh, much of the world. We were in Martinsburg, West Virginia, and everyone from the sheriff to users told us heroin is everywhere. The community is swimming in it. If you look at West Virginia in particular, when oxycodone uh, was first really released um, by a, a certain uh, company, it hit very hard in rural areas. It used to be referred to as the hillbilly heroin. Well, I think that is really uh, the formulation of what we're seeing today of prescription drug abuse. So you're seeing it in communities you've never seen it before, uh, and you're seeing many cases, social services, uh, law enforcement agencies, the healthcare system, really slow to react with its growth. I'll tell you how I see it, and I know there are great stories about treatment and people coming through treatment, but from a law enforcement point of view, there's usually two things that happen when you become involved in the heroin business. Number one, you meet a guy like me and you go to jail, or number two, you die. But in these towns, they define success and life and death on prison terms, and, and yeah. they see their community and their authorities as totally failing them. What do you say to someone who says, you know, the DEA is failing this town because drugs are everywhere. I can get it easier than I can get almost anything else. What we're dealing with in the spread of heroin in this country is the new face of organized crime. It is street gangs migrating based off markets and a shadowy existence of the cartels who will stop at nothing to make a dollar and could care less who dies. That's what we're up against. People need to understand what role they can play to make a difference. So is heroin, you said it's a new face of organized crime, Mexican organized crime. Is heroin the biggest challenge for you in the DEA? For me, no question about it. Uh, it goes hand in hand with the flow of illegal money to terrorist-related organizations. Those two things keep me up at night. 